Hello guys and welcome to my fifth video tutorial on the PHP series and in this video we will continue uh, to build some arrays. Uh, we're going to learn how to make uh, associative arrays and multidimensional arrays. Okay, So let's open Notepad++ and first of all let's run the XAMPP control panel with Apache and MySQL and OK so I forgot to mention you guys in the last video that um, you can use in the same array you can use either strings or integers okay you can use them all in the same um, in the same array as values okay that doesn't matter um, of course you can echo uh, the position 0 which is Victor and will output Victor and if you output or sorry if you echo um, the position 1 in this case the output will, should be uh, number 1 okay and in this case uh, number two should be uh, the output should be the number two the integer two okay so basically uh, you can um, you can uh, build an array with uh, strings and integers that's uh, there's no problem okay so now we're going to learn uh, how to build an associative array okay and start uh, an associative array we build a normal array with let's say users equal array parenthesis and now let's type uh, Victor and uh, as a second value let's type Bill okay so we have an array, a simple array with two values, value 0, okay, remember the first value is always number 0, okay, so we have value 0 uh, with uh, the string Victor and value 1 with the string Bill, okay. Now what I uh, want to do is to give a new value to output instead of Victor, output uh, some other value and we do that with this symbol here which is um, equal and uh, bigger than and then we type we type uh, some other name let's say Matt okay and we can uh, give some associative value as well to Bill let's say uh, Matt let's say Joe okay so now to output those new associative values uh, we have to type echo users square brackets and inside square brackets we type the first name that is in uh, the value which is the first string is Victor so we type Victor and Victor should output Matt okay so let's see if that works let's uh, open our browser I'm using Chrome localhost remember where do you have to save your um, your files PHP files right you have to save them always in uh, the htdocs directory which is inside the XAMPP directory okay so to run them oops uh, this is not my file my file is called vars and there it is Matt. okay so if I type here the original value or the first value in the, um, the first uh, uh, string in the value uh, the result or the output is the associative value that we uh, defined okay which is mat in this case see 
now if I type here bill the output is going to be the associative value which is Joe okay so this is how associative arrays work we can also we can also use numbers for example instead of, an, of a string we can use uh, numbers so we give um, we give number one to the string Victor and number two to the string Bill okay so if I type here uh, like this Bill the output is going to be the integer 2 so um, this is how uh, we can give new values okay to the um, the original values that uh, we have in the array okay and we can give new values to them and then to output those new values we type the uh, original uh, value itself okay so uh, now we're gonna learn how to use multi-dimensional arrays okay don't be scared about the name it's pretty simple and now uh, something happened here what the hell is this PC registry mechanic okay stop sorry guys for that um, so now we're gonna build some uh, multi-dimensional arrays so let's type an array users you can call the array whatever you want okay instead of users let's call something else let's say um, students equals Ray parenthesis and gonna type value one with uh, Victor and uh, the value two or the value I mean this is value zero and now value one is going to be another array okay so this is what multi-dimensional arrays are arrays inside other arrays okay and for each array we build inside another one we are building it's like building a new dimension so now we have two I'm building a two dimension array okay so I have a second array uh, and I'm going to put some values in it let's say um, Victor let's put my age 30 okay and 30 and now we gonna make some other a new array as well so a third dimension array okay so I have another array and let's type um, oops let's type boy or girl boy Boy, girl. Okay, so we have this is a, a three-dimension array. Okay, we have three arrays, one each inside the other. Okay, and we can go on and go on with uh, four, five, six, seven-dimension arrays. Okay, but um, don't uh, don't go there because uh, for each array you build. Uh, inside the other um, it's going to be more complex than to search for the values okay so try to be between uh, two and four dimension arrays okay so I have four uh, three sorry three dimensional array here and now if I want to output this value here for example girl or boy let's output boy and to do that we do echo the name of the array students and square brackets okay and the first thing we have to uh, type here the first uh, position number we have to type here is the position of um, the parent array okay which is uh, this one here and the position of that array is 0 1 so 1 now some more uh, square brackets and 
these second square brackets, the number we have to put in there is the position of the uh, second array, or in this case, the third array. Okay, we have first array, second array, and now the third array. And the third array is in position 0, 1. So we type here 1 as well. And now some more square brackets. And here in the last square brackets, we have to type the position uh, of the value we want to output. And we want uh, to output boy. So boy is in position 0. Okay. So for each dimension or for each array inside another array, we have to put uh, a square bracket. Okay and then the uh, number of the position where the array is. So, and the last one, the last one is always what, uh, what is the position of the value we want to output. So, let's save this. Let's see if this works. Let's open uh, the browser and the output should be boy. There it is. Okay, it works perfectly. Okay. Uh, if, for example, I want to output this uh, 30 here, we uh, take um, the third dimension square brackets out, and uh, here we have to type 0, which is the position of 30, the string 30. Okay? It's pretty simple. And here it is. Okay? Now, uh, as I told you before, you can type uh, as many arrays inside another array as you want, okay? Uh, that means that you are building uh, multi-dimensional multi arrays, okay? And you can build uh, five, six, seven, uh, eight dimension arrays, okay? So, I don't, I wouldn't go there because for each array you put, it's more, uh, it will be more complex than to search for uh, the values in it, okay? So, uh, this is it. This is how uh, multidimensional arrays work. Uh, so if you have any questions at all, just send me a message. Uh, or you can go uh, to see more examples of multidimensional arrays or associative arrays. You can go to php.net and you'll have there a lot of examples there. So uh, see you guys later and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.